hello everyone you are watching civil engineering with govindo and this is govindo here to welcome you and today we are gonna learn yield line analysis for reinforced concrete slab with virtual work done method anyway virtual work done method state that external work done external work done by applied load external work done by applied load is equal to the internal work done by resisting moment this is the principle of this method then we can write this formula simply external work done w e equal to internal work done w i now how to find w e and w i w e that means external work done can be found by total applied load multiplied by deflection at the center of load what will be the internal work done it can be found by total resisting moment multiplied by rotation anyway this is the principle of virtual work done method now we are going to solve the mathematical problem to discuss it broadly we are going to solve problem number 14.3 from nelson book this problem states that we have a continuous one-way slab and like this deflected shape will be like this this point is a and this point is b this point is c let us consider this distance is as x and the remaining distance will be 10 minus x we have more informations like bending moment at a negative bending moment at a equal to 5 keep feet for feet positive bending moment at b equal to 5 keep feet per feet again negative bending moment at c again negative bending moment at c equal to 7.5 keep it 5 feet we have to find the resisting capacity of the slab w keep per feet anyway we are going to solve this problem by virtual work done method and we have already know that what virtual work done method actually means it means that external work done by the applied load will be equal to the internal work done by the resisting moment uh, first of all let us let us find the external work done Uh, if you take a b portion it will be looking like this is a b portion this is a b portion and to find external work done we need total load we can write total load equal to w x and we need to total load is w x and we need the deflection at the center of the load center of the load is at this point and what is the deflection at that point 
pay attention here in virtual work done method we consider maximum deflection one we consider this deflection as one to solve virtual uh, to solve virtual work done method and if the deflection at point b that is maximum deflection is one then what will be the deflection at that point it will be half deflection at the center of the load will be half hence what will be the work done by applied load it will be applied load total applied load wx into deflection half again we again if we consider this portion bc there we have also load w everywhere and this distance is 10 minus x then what will be the work done for this portion again similarly deflection at the center the point will be half deflection at the center of the load will be half and work done and external work done for this portion will be total load total load plus total load is w into 10 minus x and deflection at this point is half this is our external work done now we are going to find internal work done to find internal work done we know internal work done uh, internal work done is found by multiplying the total moment by rotation at that point now we are going to find internal work done it can be found by multiplying total moment by multiplying total moment by the rotation to find the rotation we need to find this angle we need to find this angle this angle and this angle let us this angle is theta 1 and this one and this one will be equal and let us consider this angle is as theta 2 and this two angle will be equal now from a similar uh, from a right angle triangle if we take this portion like this this is 1 and this is going to be x if we consider this angle is theta 1 then we can write tan theta 1 equal to 1 by x as theta is a very small angle we can write theta 1 equal to 1 by x similarly we can write theta 2 equal to 1 by 10 minus x considering the triangle considering this triangle we can write theta 2 equal to 1 by 10 minus x then what will be the internal work done internal work done will be moment at point a equal to 5 then 5 into rotation at point a is theta 1 and theta 1 is 1 by x plus moment at b moment at b is also 5 into 5 into this rotation and this rotation is also theta 1 and it is 1 by x plus again if we go to this portion again moment at point b for this portion is 5 and the rotation at that point is theta 2 which is 1 by 10 minus x plus moment at point c moment at point c is 7.5 into rotation at that point is 1 by 10 minus x and this is our internal work done here we added all the work done by individual moments this is our external work done and this is our internal work done now according to the principle of virtual work done method we can write we know external work done is equal to internal work done what is the external work done this is wx by 2 plus this one is w into 10 minus x by 2 equal to this one 5 by x plus 5 upon x plus 5 upon 10 minus x plus 7.5 upon 10 minus x now if you simplify this equation you will get w equal to 2 by x plus 
to 0.5 by 10 minus x now to find the minimum value of w we need to differentiate this equation with respect to x differentiating with respect to x and equating to 0 then you will get dw by dx equal to minus 2 divided by x square plus 2.5 divided by 10 minus x here whole square and this one equal to 0 now if we simplify this equation we will get a quadratic equation like 0 0.5 x square plus 40x minus 200 equal to 0 now solving this equation we will get x equal to 4.72 sorry x equal to 4.72 and x equal to minus 84.72 this value will not be accepted as it is negative now if we plug the value of x in this equation then we will get w equal to 0.89 keep per feet which is our record answer that's all for today thank you for watching me